Hey guys, this is SQL Sunday number eight. Let's jump into it. All right, so today's question is from Google called activity percentile. Find the email activity percentile for each user. Email activity percentile is defined by the total number of emails sent. The user with the highest number of emails sent will have a percentile of one and so on. I'll put the user total emails and their activity percentile and order records by the total emails in descending order. Okay, let's take a look. Table, so Google Gmail emails, ID from user to user, as well as the day. Okay, and the expected output here is going to look like user, total emails, and activity percentile. Okay, let's take a look at the table here. Okay, so it seems pretty standard. This is pretty much what I expected. So it's zero from user to user and we have the day over here. So we want to get the user, the number of emails that they sent, um, and as well what percentile it is that they rank. Cool, so let's look at the expected output. Okay, so this is a little unexpected on my part. Um, when they said activity percentile, I assumed that the end tile here would be, you know, what percentage or what percentile that person is in terms of their total emails, but it actually seems like it's just a ranking in terms of total emails. Um, let's see here. Okay, it looks like it's just total ranking and also the ranking. So you have 19, 19, but ranked one, two. So it's, you know, ranked like here you want each number and just because they have the total number of emails is not ranked the same. Cool. All right, so it's assumptions up front. Uh, I kind of stated it already. It's the fact that if you have total number of emails, then you would actually be ranked different ones as we can see over here. Mm. I don't think I don't I don't think I have any other assumptions to make. Um, let's see. Yeah, looks about right. All right. Let us write our approach. So we're gonna say here we're gonna group by from user, and then we're going to count number of emails. So that would just be count, and then after that we will get the rank. So it says activity percentile here, but we can actually just get the row number window. So we're gonna use a little nifty little window function here. All right, so let's actually approach this question. So from Google Gmail emails, so at our select statement from user, I uh, wanna do the count, oops count as total emails and for our function, our window function. So I'm just going to write this down. I'll explain in a little bit as well what this means. So row number over order by mm, count here and we want it in descending order. And we'll call that n tiles. Okay. Okay. So row number here actually means um, we're ranking it, we're ordering it by the count, uh, which is the total number of emails by descending, because we want the total emails that are the highest to show up first. And we're getting the row number of that. So it's just ranking it from one all the way up to however many people that there are. And because we want it so that everybody gets a different number despite the fact they have the same total number of emails. That's why I want to use row number as opposed to uh, rank functions. All right, cool. And we have to group by one. That should work. So let's see. Uh, shall we check it? I think this looks right to me. Okay, cool. Yep, yep, yep. This all looks good to me. Cool. Looks like we got it right. 
Um, so in terms of anything I can do to actually make it more efficient, oh, actually let's check out their solution first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they did a subquery from user count and then grouped it over here and they used ntile. So ntile also works, it's just another function um, that you can use to rank it in this case. So yeah, you should get the same results using ntile both would work. Cool, so it looks pretty much the same here. All right, yeah, so in terms of efficiency, um, I think that my approach might be a little bit more efficient because I don't do a subquery, um, but except for that, I think it's pretty similar. I also don't really see how we can improve it that much more. As always, let me know in the comments below what your approach is, especially since we've actually ne never seen a window function before so i would love to see how you guys think about what you guys think about that um and if you were, you also used a window function if you didn't use a window function i'm also really interested to see how you did it then okay so in terms of improvements to make hmm i don't in terms of like what we can do after this so since we're actually looking at the ranking, I think it would actually be useful to go ahead and also find the actually percentiles um, of these people and grouping it together. So uh, what percentile each person is and what they belong to. So last homework question for you guys. Why don't you also modify this function so that we can see the percentiles for each of these um, users in terms of their total emails? Let me know what your solution would be in the comments below. All right, good luck everyone on their SQL data science interviews. If you've been following the series all the way from number one to number eight here, if you follow through and approach the questions like I suggested, I am very confident that you'll do super, super well on your actual interview. All right, see you guys in the next video.